Hi paint pouring people. Today I'm going to show you how to get two paintings out of one pour. I call it the two for one flower puddle pour painting. So this is a lot of fun. You can't overthink this. You want to just have fun with it. Act like you're a kid. And I'm going to show you now how to do this. Let's get on with it. I have two 11 by 14 canvases. I'm going to do a puddle pour on one of them. I'm going to start out with a wet white background. This is my happy medium paint ready to pour. Smear it around. This this helps the effect if you start out with a, a wet background. You can start out with a dry background. I like this wet background for this technique. I'll smear a little bit around on my second canvas which we'll use in a minute. But this canvas is going to be on standby. All right, I'm going to create some puddles. They're going to be flowers. I have a number of colors set out, not overthinking it. Just going to work on some puddles for a couple of minutes. Random choices. Now when you're creating flowers, you can make them as dense or sparse as you want. It's just a personal preference. I'm going in between here. I'm having a few flowers, but the more puddles you make, the more dense of a flower foliage that this is going to be. I'm going to take a look here and see what I want to do. I'm leaving some room at the top for something else, which I'll work on in just a second. See what I need here to complete my mission of getting some variety. I'm going to add a touch of white to a couple of these because that always makes it interesting. Okay, I've got some flowers down here. I'm going to do something special up here at the top, which I'll show you what's going to be in a minute. Little bit of black. orange, yellow, and black. Just a touch of white. You can do this green foliage afterwards, but what I'm going to do is pour a little bit up front to show you what happens, and then you can make your choices on based on what you see here. I feel like I need something right there. That's a little bit too blank for me, even though this is going to spread after we squish this together. I'm going to do one more small thing here just to fill up this space. Okay, here comes the fun part. I've got my other 11 by 14 canvas. And I am going to mush it down on top of this one. Now, if you, you want to press in between here so it mushes, 
if you lift straight up your circles are going to stay kind of round if you wiggle it around a little bit it's going to elongate the shapes and it's just a personal preference i'm wiggling this around a little because i like kind of the the randomness and you, you don't know what you're going to get that's what's exciting about this so i'm just mushing it around slightly i've made contact i can tell and then i'm just going to slide it and lift it up and now you see okay i've got some fun looking flower shapes you can see where the green stem like thing has made some movement here but what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take a little bit of green and add just a small amount now th this is my cup that I like to use I want to control it a little and and people think that they need to throw cups away all the time I let this paint dry in the cups and reuse them it's no big deal I'm going to take my candy apple stick and just draw a little more foliage here before I move on. And now what I'm doing is I have I have two canvases that I have to work on. So I'm going back and forth between both of them. And you have time to work. It's not like you need to speed through this. Just have fun with it. Act like you're a kid instead of a grown-up. Got a nice little flower arrangement here. And then what I like to do is get my black, pour that into a cup. I like defining the shapes of the flowers a little bit. I use a stick because it's kind of primitive and it works better than a, a paintbrush for me because you just keep it really loose and fun. Okay, remember to go back to the other canvas, work on them both. See, they are going to come out different. You, you sort of stamped the same image, but by the time you go back and forth, you're going to have two different paintings. They're going to match, but yet be different. Okay, I'm not going to overdo it. I keep telling myself that. Now, up here, this is my little thing that I created for something different. This is going to be a butterfly. I'm just going to draw some shape of the wing. Give him a body. A couple of feelers. Now go back to this one. You can see I'm taking this blob of color and I'm defining what it is just with a stick. There he is. Now a couple of final touches, some dots in the middle of a few of these flowers. I like to vary things and not do the same thing every time. Take some black and a few. Dip in, I didn't pour into a cup, so I'm gonna dip into my yellow and just do yellow in a couple of places. Mm, that's flower here, flower there. I think I'm gonna just stop right there. Let me turn this around so it's facing you. There are, you have a matched uh, set now. You can hang them together. You know, I'm using my Happy Medium paint ready to pour. This is my own mix of paint. You can see how simple it was. These bottles really get a workout, but I don't have to pour into cups. I just go straight from the bottle and it's it's so easy it really is easy you can check this out at happymedium.fun if you want to try some of my own personal paint ready to pour so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you do the two four one two painting
technique. I really enjoy it. It's fun. It's loose. It's contemporary. I hope you'll give it a try. And if you um, would like to support my channel, I have a PayPal link below. Also, I have a Patreon page. We have merchandise at paintpouringpeople.com. And please join my Facebook group called Paint Pouring People. We post pictures of your paintings over there. It's a lot of fun. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember to click the little bell to get notifications when there's a new video up. My favorite pouring supplies are on my Amazon shopping list. All the links are below, including the link to my paint ready to pour called happymedium.fun. So have fun. There's no rules. And we'll see you next time.